The five-month honeymoon is over between Mayor Faulkner and the city council. The battle lines were drawn earlier this week when the council raised the minimum wage. KUSI's Steve Bosch has more on our story tonight. For the city council, its strategy is pretty straightforward. It passed the wage hike and it has the votes to override the mayor's veto. It just has to decide when and it has to act within 30 days, meaning a special council session while it's in vacation recess or in September. Either way, the direction the city goes is at stake. We're going to have some, um, some very interesting dialogues um, uh, concerning you know, the, the direction of the city and, uh, and particular issues concerning um, how the city's run. Political consultant Chris Crotty says, if this does go to a referendum, look for a big money campaign on both sides, and much of it will be negative. It has been nasty in the past, and I don't see any reason why, why it wouldn't be nasty in the future. For the coalition of business owners fighting the wage hike, its preparations are already underway for a signature drive to get this on the ballot. The early talk was to put it before the voters this November. I just don't think there's enough time to get to November. The alternative is the next regularly scheduled city election, which isn't until the June primary in 2016. By then, two of the three phased in hikes will be in place at 1050 an hour. Business can probably live with that because you never know what the voters are going to do. Pollster John Neenstadt says the minimum wage issue for voters breaks along ideological lines. Liberals uh, want it, they want a higher minimum wage, they want it increased. Uh, conservatives tend to be on the other side. Either they want it lower or don't want it increased as much. Unlike the battle over the linkage fee, which voters never understood, and the Barrio Logan community plan update, which was a very narrow issue in one neighborhood, the minimum wage is fundamental. We've got something that the voters intrinsically get. They understand the concept of a minimum wage. While this fight is between the business power brokers and the labor unions, it's also a power play between the council and the mayor's office. The Democratic supermajority uh, is using this opportunity to um, tell the mayor that there are some issues that they're going to pursue regardless of of uh, you know, what he'd like to accomplish. The other thing in play here is the November election. If a Republican wins in District 6, the Democrats no longer have a supermajority to override a mayoral veto, and this issue can be revisited. Steve Bosch, KUSI News.